Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel again. My name is Keith and you're watching Come On The Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. It helps the channel grow. Thumbs up or a comment below will be appreciated. I'm still waiting for the uncle to pull up that sexy mirror behind me and the telly on the wall as well. So still moving in the process. Look, at, I'm settling in well. Yes, I've... I've had a few blunders in the last couple of videos setting things wrong and I do apologise to people that like accuracy and like statistics and like to come on. But you know what I say? Thank you much for the constructive feedback. The show still goes on. The show will still go on. I'm not the greatest Celtic vlogger in the world. I just like this as a hobby. People love watching me content and you know what? You keep joining it. You keep enjoying it. But don't be sending me emails about which, which way I should be saying this and saying that. At the end of the day, that's a bit that's a bit too extreme. I've got some lovely emails this week as well, but some nasty ones. And I'm not here to pick battles with people. We all love the same cause. And if you don't like the way I operate and say things, no one is putting a gun to your head to watch the channel. I'm here to talk about Celtic stuff, and that's what I like doing. So I'm going to talk about Blackburn Rovers friendly. I'm going to talk about Jot and Henrik Larson. I'm going to talk about Ben Davis. And we're going to talk about Georgia Samaras. So game tomorrow at half 12 at Celtic Park. It's the first time my boys have been back to Celtic Park since they won the league title. Clinched that league title. Well, I'll be obviously clinched against Dundee United. But, you know, lifted that league title at Paradise back in a lovely May's day. That was a fantastic day. And the family, all the players going around. Joe Hart lifting that trophy a certain way around his shoulders. But fantastic. Hammering Motherwell. Half 12 kickoff. It's on Premier Sports tomorrow, folks. I know a lot of people are complaining about the um, the Austrian fixtures. And you know what? I got one thing wrong there. I thought the game against Banneker Strava was on Premier Sports. It wasn't. But look, I watched on a different stream anyway. No disrespect. I wasn't paying 80 quid for three fixtures or four fixtures. Not a chance. Definitely not. So we see a lot of changes tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, he's going to rotate the squad. It's still pre-season. We're expecting a scorcher of a day. I won't be at the game. Just to let you know, I'm actually going to a wedding tomorrow in Thornbury. So I'll be kilted, you know, looking well. Hopefully it's not too warm because there'll be woolly socks on. People don't want to know what I'm up to tomorrow. But I will get to watch the game because I'm not leaving until about 5 o'clock anyway. So happy days. Happy days. Um, look at we start in lineup for tomorrow. I can see a few changes. So Benjamin Seacrest starts. Right back will be Anthony Ralston. You see, you got to taste that captaincy the other day. Left back will be Taylor. I think Bertabeo will come on in the second half. Centre back will go with Julian and Lahal. I think Carter Vickers might be rested with Welch. I know start Car Starfield is still out at the moment. Hopefully he'll be fit by the end of the month. Defensive midfield. I'm gonna go with Callum McGregor. I'm gonna go with David Turnbull, Rio Atate, on the right, James Forrest, on the left, Jota, and then up front, I'm going to go for Koyogo. Very similar to what we lined out against Banneke Strav, except the defence, to be honest, which is with the likes of Jack and Marcus could come in, you know, Lee Alabade, Deza Maeda could come on, attacking options there. Midfield, I'd like to see Idaguchi get more time, James McCarthy as well, Matt O'Reilly, I know I haven't even started him in this game, but bring him on the second half for a goal against Blackburn Rovers. There's a lot of depth in that squad, and it's encouraging. You know, this, as I said yesterday on the channel, that was outside Celtic Park, a windy Celtic Park. You know, I feel sorry for Hamish today recording on Hell Hell 67, man. It's tough. It's tough. But you have better equipment than me. <laughs> I'll get there one day. But um, look, at, um, I, could think, I could see the likes of Matt O'Reilly making a massive difference this season. I... I tipped them, 16 plus goals, maybe 12 assists as well, but I need to know in the comments what you think. Last time we played Blackburn Rovers in a friendly was 2012, they beat us 2-1 at Celtic Park, unfortunately, but our last competitive game against Blackburn Rovers, men versus boys, Graeme Souness slandering Celtic at Celtic Park, and we went down to Edward Park, former Blackburn legend, Chris Sutton scored against them and Henrik scored against them with a nice dink over Brad Friedel. Good times on the road to Seville in that sexy yellow jersey. I'm sure a few as were at it as well. But that was a good time. Regards to Henrik Larson, Celtic put up a picture of Henrik and Jota on the 28th of May, the Champions League final. Jota was in Paris. How many cities was he in in the space of that month and a bit? So many. You know, he's in the beat 
Paris, New York, you know, Cancun. The guy living the dream. He's definitely he's, he's definitely that Tinder swindler. Definitely one of that Tinder swindler. But um, yeah, it was great to see the king obviously with Jota. The king maybe said famous words of saying, "Sign on the permanent, mate. Sign on the permanent." But um, good to see Henrik and Jota in a picture together. You know, future Celtic legend. And then you got the King of Kings there as well. But regards to transfer activity, Ben Davis, Liverpool centre back. He has never played a competitive game for Liverpool in the Premier League. He's linked again with another move to Celtic. Obviously, Christopher Julian's future is still in doubt where he's going to go. There was obviously Christopher Julian was meant to go to Schalke last week. That deal broke down. And Ben Davis reportedly. 2.7 million. This is a guy that snubbed Celtic. Well, for Liverpool, Liverpool are a massive club, but never got a fourth team appearance in Premier League. Yes, he was on loan at Millsborough last season. Got a good few games under his belt. I think it was 21 games he got under his belt, but he's going to be 27 next month. Do we go in for Ben Davis if Julian goes? I want to know in the comments. If Do we still go in from if Julian stays? You know, Ben Davis doesn't have Champions League experience. Yes, he has loads of Championship experience. He was a Preston North End Player of the Year on two different on two, two different occasions. He was in the Championship Player of the Year three different times. Championship Team of the Year, apologies, three different times. So I want to know what you think about this. I can't see it happening. We've been linked to him on four different occasions so far. And it, actions speak louder than words. I always talk about players on this channel that were linked to it. And I know I get people on there saying, Oh, you get this off Celtic News Now. Celtic News Now is an app that pulls data from many Celtic articles. So, if I do get stuff from Celtic News Now, who gives a fuck? I'm still talking about it. I'm still talking about it. People just love literally trying to stab me in the back. And the more I do, the more they do it just makes me keep doing videos. You get to see me beautiful mush. You know, so yeah, I'll see what happens with Ben Davis. And look, at, on this day, 2008, we signed Giorgio Samaras on a permanent basis from Man City. Obviously, Giorgio came in when we were chasing the three in a row. He was an he played an iconic part from that January up to May, scoring some crucial goals in the total run in. And we signed him on a permanent basis. And look, at Giorgio, you know, had some remarkable years at Celtic. You know, he had his sluggish times, he had some iconic times in Europe in all firm derbies when they were around and then two goals against Rangers and the most important moment for Samurai sticks out to me was when he lifted Jay Beatty out of the crowd on trophy day bring him around Celtic Park and Neil Lennon gave Jay the, the winner's medal as well absolutely unbelievable so do subscribe to the channel um, I'm still settling into life in Scotland folks I know a lot of people are saying I hope you're enjoying life in Scotland 